I'm ready. Are you ready? I think I'm ready. Are you sure? I don't know. Do you have Do you have stuff on you? What do you got? I always have stuff on me. I carry everything on me. Like every day? Every day. All right. So hey, welcome to KSG. If it's your first time here, welcome to the channel. Otherwise, welcome back. We're going to discuss everyday carry today, but really basic. Very basic. As a female, I usually carry a purse. Well, we all know as females, gosh, I carry everything in that purse. Makeup, usually, mints, gum, yeah, we won't keep going with that list. But when I'm going on the motorcycle, when we're riding, when we're just going out and about. Or when we're actually at work and in the office, yeah. where we might not be able to take, well, you are you can't take your purse into the classroom. True. So we're going to show you what is on us, usually, at all times. Now, we do have a caveat to this. This is going to be in a permissive environment where we're permitted to carry it. This is what we generally have in our pockets if we're out and about or anything else. And it's going to be slightly different, mainly because of the cut of clothing. Oh you have gosh. no depth in your pockets. You I can don't. barely carry on. I have, my, my head doesn't even barely fit in my pocket. Hello. Which <laughs> brings us to the first thing. You might remember our short on 60 seconds to EDC Knife Excellence. Well, here's my other option. It's just a, um, a buck vantage, just a real basic $35 knife that meets all of those requirements we put out in there. But this would not be a good everyday carry knife for Jocelyn because... Look how big it is. Even folded it up, you can't put this... Does it fit in my pocket? No, it's you can't... Well, kind of sideways, but not up and down. <laughs> so what do you do instead? Well, me? Girls, we like to bling. I mean, hello, look how much jewelry I have on right now. Okay, we like to match. So what do I do? Look how much smaller this is than his. Even folded up. And it fits in my pocket perfectly. And it's a pretty color. And it meets those criteria of what makes a good everyday carry cat. <laughs> <laughs> it's... A quality steel, that one is D2, I think, tool yep. steel. It's made by Kershaw, and it actually has real copper scales, so it works like jewelry, which brings me to my other point. I work in IT, so sometimes I can get away with, even in a courtroom, carrying something more like a tool. And I am a big fan of Victorinox knives because they have all the tools you could possibly want on them. And what's nice about this is if I go in with something like this, this is looked at much more as a tool and not really a weapon or anything like that. What well, else do I got in here? Chapstick. Gotta keep health uh, mode. Yeah. <laughs> because even even during the apocalypse, you gotta have kissable lips. Mwah. <laughs> <laughs> and as always, my phone. Mine is recording this video. So a word about the phones. Phones are the 21st century multi-tool. Oh my gosh, yes. But they're only as good as the battery. Mm -hmm. Now, we one of our biggest considerations in the phones is the life cycle of that battery. And these, if under our use, will last a couple of days. And that spares us from having to put a flashlight in the pockets. Mm -hmm. We can't really carry like a bag all the time. So having the phone to really take the place of that flashlight mm -hmm. for us is important. Now I have my small flashlight in my bag. Good. I have that. I have a little uh, mag light solitaire. Mm -hmm. I think you carry a buck light in your purse, the one little squeeze lights. I do. So we do have a backup battery or backup flashlight, mm -hmm. but that's not in our pockets. Not only that, our phones are so useful. I use this as my notepad for everything because goodness, I'm getting older. I would forget my mind or my head if it wasn't attached. So phones, while yes. A lot of people spend more time on them than they should, I think personally. They're also very useful things because I am very anti-electronic. Now, when you do use them a lot though, they get really smeary. So I carry a regular bandana all the time and it's great for cleaning the screen and... Or if I need to blow my nose, thanks. I, oh, or <laughs> any of those millions of other uses for a bandana, everything from blowing your nose <laughs> Thank you. to an improvised tourniquet or a little bit of pressure if you mm -hmm. cut yourself. But my knife's really sharp, so or if I cut myself or anything. <laughs> I could actually make you a sling. Well, that one's maybe not so big. That'd be a pretty tough sling. Might need to use some string or something. No, but I could tie you off, cut off your blood supply. Well, that would be a tourniquet more than a sling. True. But that's definitely getting tight. <laughs> now, that's not a replacement for 
something like a cat or a SWAT tea tourniquet or anything. But in a pinch, it's a whole lot better than nothing. So now, one of the other things, I like a front pocket wallet. And now this isn't as slim as what some of you guys are carrying, but let me take this out. We don't need a driver's license number floating around there, but you know, it holds my credit cards. It holds my gym card, my insurance card, a little bit of cash. Um, could definitely use a little bit more of that. I mean, that's yeah. one wallet issue I'll take. Uh, In a pinch, you should always have cash. Well, I know the credit card, it's easy to carry. I mean, I have mine here too. Again, no ID. Yeah, we should um, probably take that license out. <laughs> but I also cash is always a big thing because it's spendable anywhere and in a pinch when ATM machines aren't working. Well, you know, or if the credit card machine is down or mm -hmm. even if power is just out. But here is our everyday carry. Oh, I almost forgot. Oh, your key. Keys and too long of a chain for me, but I like it because it's separate and I have a bad habit of locking keys in my vehicle, so when I start my vehicle, the key fob goes in my pocket. The key is obviously in the vehicle, and we're done. I haven't had a problem since I got that little lobster claw. Thank goodness. Now, this <laughs> is the bare minimum everyday carry, and something that we're not going to go without mentioning is you've got to have something on you for defense. Now, remember, you can also take a class. I actually took a self-defense class for women. Do not leave yourself unprotected. And you're, you're probably your first thing you should do is take some sort of self-defense class yep. and practice situational awareness. Now, that, that's a, I don't have a better word for that. I'm former military, and we use situational awareness for everything. But all it really needs is pay attention to what's going on around you. It is. It's, you need to be aware of all times, especially in this society. Looking at your phone, you're not aware, you know, be, but you can look at your form, phone and still see what's around you if you learn how to do that. But for self-defense, we do carry other means of self-defense. If you would like to learn about those means, let us know and we might do them. YouTube has rules, but we have other means that we can actually do the videos on. There are different things like pepper spray, tasers, batons. There's a lot of options depending on what's legal in yes. your area. The most important thing you can do though is get a little bit of training on that. But that's a subject of a whole other video. So if you found this useful, if you learned something, go ahead and um, you know, likes are free. Help us grow this little channel and get the word out to more people. Subscribe if you don't want to miss anything. We're KSG. I'm Joe. I'm Jocelyn. And that's Boots. And don't forget your bling girls.